This is the newly updated 2019 Suzuki Vitara. Three years since its launch, it's been treated to a raft of updates to keep it fresh against newer rivals like the Sayat, Arona, and the Hyundai Kona. Perhaps the most important update of all is its engine lineup. Out goes the old 1.6 liter naturally aspirated motor replaced by a 1.0 liter three cylinder turbo. The diesel has been dropped, but the previous 1.4 liter remains. The 138 bhp unit is shared with the Swift Sport, as is the six speed manual gearbox. The outgoing 1.6 liter was a keen and revvy unit, but with just 156 newton meters of torque at 4000 rpm, it took some work to extract the most fun out of it. Not only does the 1.0 liter has a higher 170 newton meter maximum, but it produces all that from 2000 to 3500 rpm. In the real world, then, it takes much less effort to make progress, and fewer gear changes too. That's a good thing because, as before, the 5-speed manual isn't the most pleasant to use. The shift is light, but there is a grainy feel that puts you off shifting wherever possible. On the plus side, the 1.0 liter pulls just under 3000 rpm at 70 miles per hour. That's helped by the fact that the engine is smooth, refined unit in the first place. The 1.0 liter is available with a choice of two or four wheel drive but just 31% of buyers are expected to go for that. The extra pair of driven wheels make it slightly slower, 0 to 62 miles per hour in 12.5 seconds. And it is 3.7 mpg thirstier in official tests. Inside the facelift Vitara, minor tweaks comprise of color screen within the dials, an armrest between the front seats, and some plastic on the top of the dash. Despite the changes, it still looks and feels a little cheaper than the class best. From a design perspective, the 2019 Vitara's external changes are subtle. The lower part of the front bumper has been redesigned and there's a new grille with vertical rather than horizontal slates. The old rear lamps have been detached in favor of new LED units and new alloy wheels and paint color are available. There's also lots of new safety kit. The likes of traffic sign recognition, blind spot monitoring and rear cross traffic alert are new to both the Vitara and Suzuki range as a whole. Elsewhere the Vitara drives just like it did before. Ride comfort is towards the firmer side of the crossover class though could never be called harsh. It lacks the ultimate body control of a Sayat, but it is slightly more comfortable. The Vitara still champions value for money, undercutting many like-for-like -like rivals in this segment. Although the Citroen C3 Aircross, one of the best value compact crossovers and our current class favorite, has a lower starting price, that's for a smaller, less powerful model. Overall, Suzuki will sell lots of units due to its popularity and we expect it to be a success for the following years to come.